In this video, we're going to discuss some additional objects that we can place into our profile view window. The most important objects that we place in our profile view window are arguably probably the actual design profiles and surface profiles that we are going to be working with. But in addition to helping us with those design elements, you can take objects inside of Civil 3D and promote them into your profile view window. You can import or project into your profile view window blocks, 3D solids, 3D polylines, points, feature lines, and survey figures. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to show us how to pro project some of the objects into that profile view window. What I'm going to do is I'm going to project some of the uh, points that we have in our drawing into that profile view window. And in order to do that, what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to navigate up to the home tab of the ribbon bar. You're going to go to the profile views drop down, and you're going to go to the project objects to profile view. Now, Civil 3D is going to prompt us to select the objects to add to the profile view. What I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate down to the cul-de-sac, and I'm going to locate some of the points that are near our alignment. So I'm going to select these three points right here. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do now to get out of the selection of objects to promote to the profile view is I'm going to hit Enter. And Civil 3D is going to ask me to select a profile view to place them in. So I'm going to navigate over to the profile view that I want to place those points inside of and select that as well. What ends up coming up next is a projected objects to profile view window. It gives me a list of all the objects that I selected and whether or not they're going to be actually placed inside the profile. So if I uncheck any of these objects and then click OK, they won't get promoted into the profile view window. But if they're left checked, they will be promoted into or projected into the profile view window using the specified style elevation options and label styling. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And as you can see, those points that I selected are projected into our profile view window. But because they weren't directly on top of our alignment, they aren't going to fall directly on top of our surface profile that we created with our alignment. And this is important because you could have design points that you've projected onto your surface and you've placed a point or a, a design feature line or something like that. And you can project those into your profile view window and then use those elements to help create your design profiles in the future. And if you later decide that you've, after, after you've done and created your, um, your design profile, what you can go ahead and do is to remove this information, all you have to do is select the profile view window that you place them into, go to profile view properties, and then navigate to the projections tab and uncheck any of the objects that you don't want displayed inside your profile view window anymore. And then you hit apply and those projections disappear from the projections list and they disappear from your profile view window. 